बहुत बड़ा मीटिंग हुआ है हम जितना पॉइंट हम नोट कर लिए हैं और बहुत जल्दी इस पर हम सेकेंड राउंड ऑफ मीटिंग होगा इसमें बिल्कुल क्यों नहीं होगा जितना जितने जल्द हम जाके ऑफिस बिल्कुल बिल्कुल मेजर मुद्दे की जाए सी वॉट एपन्स नेवी इज नॉट बॉर्डर्ड अबाउट द सिटीजन ऑफ वास्को नेवी हैज बीन बिहेविंग लाइक एन एक्स्ट्रा कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल अथॉरिटी आर मीटिंग we had meetings with our mlas and our ministers and our minister had arranged a meeting also with the chief secretary and navy navy was so bad in that meeting our chief secretary ultimately said please don't pay lip service we have to solve this matter up together now when the chief secretary speaks in such a manner it is understood what navy wants to do in vasco in fact when you look at all issues navy has issued demolition notice to zowari agrochemicals zowari agrochemicals produces fertilizers you demolish zowari agrochemicals a food security of india is at a threat navy has issued notices to common people they have demolished the houses of common people we all say modi ki guarantee sabko ghar but navy here is against the interests of the people and is demolishing everybody's houses this is all i have to say thank you girish girish इट वॉज अ ग्रेट इनिशियटिव बाय चेयरपर्सन ऑफ मरमगा कि आज जो इशू फेस करता है इट्स नॉट ओनली पंचायत आज फुल मरमगाव तालुका इशू फेस करता सो दे हैड कॉल्ड ऑल द स्टेक होल्डर्स ऑल द इफेक्टेड पार्टी जितने आए पे सगैंक आपन आज नेवी वांगड़ा एक बड़ी मीटिंग जी नेवी ऑल्सो दे ऑफिशल्स दे अंडरस्टूड दैट इट इज आवर फॉल्ट बट एवरी टाइम जेना मीटिंग घता पे इट वॉज एज अ चीफ सेक्रेटरी सेक्रेटरिएट जो मीटिंग जी मानून घता हमें फॉल्ट आ पागर इम्प्लिमेंटेशन जाएना सो समेर दैट प्रेसर इज लैकिंग माता कि खुद तरी सरकार इन्वॉल्वमेंट इन्वॉल्व जो आनी एक प्रेसर घर जो अन्याय जाता जो है बंद जाए सो इट वॉज अ गुड इनिशिटिव बाय गिरीश बोरकर गिरीश गिरीश सर्विस टैक्स जे नेवी भरना तेजा वांगड़ा स्टेक होल्डर्स आपले तुमका खबर आ वास्को क्या प्रॉब्लम आसो पैस खे तरी नेवी को कहें बाबा ये इतने प्रॉब्लम वास्को शहर में आसा मूँ ती फर्स्ट टाइम अभी मीटिंग जी जेना नेवी पास ये काउंसिलर ये स्टेक होल्डर्स ये बरें जी बरी मीटिंग जी तक तीस सर टाइम दिला बाबा ये हमें इश्यूज अशे इश्यू खरी सुटाव ये पाला आने आशा बागता नेवी कर सुटाव जो क्या लोग बिल्डर आसू ना गरीब लोग आसू जैसे जगह घर बनपा जाए तंका एन ओ सी मेना पैसे लाइले आसा भांगर घाक घान डोले खे तरी सुटाव जा मुनसिपालिटीक मुनसिपालिटी जी आता आसा टैक्स मेना कहीं मेना कहीं मेना तो खे तरी मेपा जाए तो आधार खुद ना तुमका खबर आ हालत कितनी बेकार खेल ना खे आता चालू के एसेसमेंट चालू आईओसी चालू आज एच पी सी एल चालू आतन के गोवा शिपेड ये ना नेवी ये जैसे खे तरी मुनसिपालिटी खे स्थिर जी आतले कहीं जास्ती का उलना आपको सगैनी सहयोग दिल सगे बिल्डर्स ये बर इसलिए सग सी अपना जी भटास का काउंसिलर उ हेचर जास्ती का उलना माका जाए एक पॉजिटिव रिपोर्ट क्या पॉजिटिव नेवीवा बेटर फॉर द वास्को कार आनी खाती आज फर्स्ट टाइम हम बी बड़ी मीटिंग जी सेकेंड मीटिंग आसते हजेर सेकेंड मीटिंग विदीन थर्टी डेज टाइम दिलाई आंका मानले आसा तो विदीन थर्टी डेजा सैटिस्फाई आता हाँ
there is a Supreme Court order, right? Which states that they are liable to pay house tax. Service tax. At 33.3. Long time back, at least around 6 to 8 months back, we ourselves as council, we had taken a resolution to assess all the house Actually, पुलिस वाजी राम हम चाहे चार पसंद आज अभिनंदन करता देव परे करो मंडा कि वो इशू जब वास्को का सफर जाता अब वास्को का लोग मंजे पुल जुडिशरी मंडा हो सफर जाता तो तेरी हाँ मीटिंग इन हाइलाइट को नाले बदल अंते गौर तेरे ने एक नेवल अच्छा ऑफिशियल सारूं बसे ले बदल इतने तुम जाले हाँ थोड़े मुझे जो इफेक्टेड मेंबर्स हाँ लाइक बिल्डर्स हाँ कौन लैंड ओनर्स हाँ पुत्र तेंचे ते हम ये मीटिंग इन प्रेजेंट नहीं ले ले आओ कोई टेक्निकल मनीस नो मतलब मकान है दिसो नेता कि आंगा आमका डिफेंस आचे कि वो नेवला चेर मोग आसा अने मोग आसपाक जाए कि रख त्याम जो देश के लोगों जगत्ता पर आंगा ऐसे चल लेला वास कौन आम ये एनिमे क्या है लेले राइवलरी कहीं चल लेले ऐसा नेवी चे मोनिस कौन डिस्कवर करें जो राग है ता आमका सिविलियन संग राग है ता पोपा कुछ नहीं कि रख क्या मुटले ये जी एरिया जी सगे आप उधर जन जी 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 जोन तेंचनी एक ऐसा लगा था पाँच फोर किलोमीटर्स कहीं पांच पांच जना पाएं तो तुम सबसे तुम बेजार ले ले ऐसा हम ही साधे मुझे हम कहाँ कब ना टेक्निकल पुरुन समझ बारिक से समझ एक कंपाउंड वॉल्स तो बांधता लानु जले नेवला जी परमिशन दे पड़ता कि रख लगो हम ही मुनसिपल ने वो तो पॉइंट कि तेंचे ने तो 33 परसेंट टैक्स बहुत सपोर्ट टाइम हूँ आई तो बर्फ़ का लगा हूँ आमिते आजम भरी ना ते भरी ना मुलायम तेंका मैं आपको ले लाया था हम जो मुनसिपल टी बैंकर प्लान चल लिया था आम जो हमका सैलरी कल पक्का ना सकता वैसे हम जो मैक्सिमम एरिया आपको तो तेंचे ने कवर कर तेंचे बिल्डिंग है हाँ सारे के फाइनल एरिया तेंचे जोनन भीतर का कंपाउंड बन लिया दादा बारा बारा फुलोरा जी बिल्डिंग बन लिया सा तेंगे का परमिशन लगा ना तेंचे सगे 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 सारे क्या सा हम जब जब वो बाहर आ सा तेंगा सत्रा सा था आये जब हम जब वास्को करण संगता जब बिजनेस एक डेड जल्ला ला स आओ एक गवर्नमेंट का रिक्वेस्ट करता है, नेवला का रिक्वेस्ट करता है, डिफेंस का रिक्वेस्ट करता है, ये जो जुड़ी से जो वास्को के मुर्गान कॉर्टनिंग के दाबोलिंग के एटेंशन एरिया पट्टा पे, हम का सगाई खरीद रहे हैं, रिएब्लेट करा, अन फुल एरिया तुम ही गैस, बहुत सारे प्रश्न पड़ना लगा सा, अन्य फुल परमिट के लिए लासा कोई दूसरे मना नहीं समझ एक गुए मारे ले तुम्हें चार गुए मारा मुंह और है कह लेते हैं फुल पावर्स दिल्ली लासा मुना आज तीसरा मैं एक अमी खुशा सरकार जिसे कि तीसरे तेरे डिफेंस अगर फुल मुझे तेरे किर्दे एक्शन कर सकता पर आंगो ऐसे दल लेना कि आमी दुश्मन का दल लेना सा आमी कॉपरेट करता हूँ जेक काउंसलर ने कोई इश्यू कर लो जेसे काउंसलर तो गार्बेज कॉस्ट्रो आउट कंपोर्ट जेसे बाय तो काट पाक गला ले थसे ले गन भी गोन सगे जानते का थसे एटैक कर पाला जानते कॉस्ट्रो काट पाक दिन ना बिटे कॉस्ट्रो का इतने किना � वो तो ऐसे कहे ना तो ऐसा लोगों ने आमी डिसीजन गेट ले लिया था चार बुलंद संगला कि ऐंका जो ऑफिशियल साफ़ फोगा आसु जैसे कौन आसु बताएं का क्यों एक सीएम अपने एक बड़ी सी मीटिंग के ऊपर जाए रेवेन्यू डिपार्टमेंट ऐसे कर मुझे तेरे जन एक मीटिंग के ऊपर जाए अंदर मीटिंग है उसके लिए आउटकम कुछ इसके लिए हमारे खुद के अपने गाइडलाइन हैं हमारे खुद के अपने गाइडलाइन हैं जो मोदी से डिसाइडेड होते हैं कि कहाँ कितनी बिल्डिंग सिर्फ नेवी के वजह से तो आप लोग आप कुछ भी डिसीजन यहाँ पे ले रहे हैं अगर यहाँ पे हम लोग को अगर कोई हमारे जुडिशरी में कोई कंस्ट्रक्शन करने का है तो हमको नेवी का परमिशन लेना पड़ता है और उल्टा जब नेवी का अपना एरिया में जो वो लोग बिल्डिंग बांध रहे हैं तीन पाँच पाँच छः छः फ्लोर का वो लोग को किसी का परमिशन नहीं चाहिए तो उसके लिए अगर हम लोग डिबेट करेगा तो उसका आंसर देने के लिए आप है ना आप लोग आंसर करेगा ना क्या चुपचाप सुन के आगे इन्फॉर्म करेगा अभी ही मांगता हमको बाद में डिस्कशन चालू करेंगे हम लोग चुपचाप सुनेंगे सुनेंगे समझेंगे spoke on various issues related to Navy and civilians. What is important? So basically, what is the situation in Vasco and the surrounding areas? Navy is actually become the villain. 
Sometimes you say you're portrayed as a villain, but the truth is, navies actually become the villain. They are not aware of how civilians are affected. They are not aware, and at least I feel they care a damn. That is what I feel. Now, the first issue that came was about house tax. Today, house tax will another navy in Mangor itself. There will be more than four thousand units of this. More than four thousand units, not assessed for house tax. Now, as there is a Supreme Court order which states that they have to be assessed for all central government agencies have to be assessed for house tax at thirty-three percent. We made a letter to them, no response. Only INS Jivanti they gave us a response in regards to that. So our thing was, what is being done? Why are our authorities quiet? Why is the CEO quiet? Why is the chairperson quiet about this? Why are we quiet? So today's meeting was with regards to that and the other issues being faced by the government. So we took a call as far as this is concerned. The house tax assessment is to be done. So we will coordinate with them. Today, their two officers came, but they are also just like messengers. They'll go and convey to their higher authorities. Second issue, other issues are also was about the problems being faced in Vasco. Now there was a high court matter that was there with regards to the funnel zone, which was filed at re as regards to Dabolim Airport, and the high court that, that order is standing. Now it's basically as regards to the funnel zone. What is happening is today Vasco in Vasco, we were not a party to that. The municipality was not a party to that. That case was against the PDA, State of Goa, and Chikalim Panchayat. Now any files that are there, obviously they have to be vetted by the navy. Earlier it was only the funnel zone, but now as per that order, I am not questioning the order. But what is happening is navy is citing their own internal circulars. They are citing their own internal circulars and blocking everything. Today Vasco once upon a time, our municipality we used to get revenue of five to six crores a year on municipal licenses. Today we are not even at fifty lakhs, and that too that is only on the news because naval permissions are not coming. Airport is there. Airport is four kilometers away, but Navy is denying permissions to Vasco people also. For what reason? People are leaving Vasco and going. We are suffering. Our economy is suffering. Vasco is dying. And what is the Navy doing about it? They are least bothered. They are dying not because of it's because of the inaction. I mean inaction. I wouldn't say inaction, but the indifference of the Navy. Something has to be done. This was a right step. I congratulate our chairperson, the municipality, for taking this call. For having this meeting, and we're going to have a follow-up meeting on this because they've said they'll go back to their authorities. So, do you think the state government should now uh, intervene and you know take some action? Or state government has to intervene. No, we are civilians. I mean, Inga che log, I mean, Inga che stanik log. We were there for donkey's years. Today we are zero more. Ask kitha, ask loka che kitha. To who are out of whether it is Mangor, Shanti Nagar, who is Vasco, who is where are we? We are nowhere. Navy is just blocking everything. Today they have. I'll just tell you how they are just. Mangra ne gate aate mujhe. Varna puri gate. It is clearly written. Sailors residential colony. They are not assessed for house tax fine. That is the first part. Second part is that gate itself is illegal. All of you all, all the press guys, right? Tum to report a third April. Your report is there. Third April 2023. You are with the MLA. You are with the collector. Great job. They are taking their gate. They are removing their illegal gate. They are removing the illegal garden. Who is that? Adu ne aamar. It's still there. So they. It's not your fault. I'm saying you reported what they stated. But nothing. It's still there. It's still there. That's what it. They've got ten floor buildings. Ten floor, thirty-three meter buildings. Just hundred meters from the runway. Today we want to build a ground plus one near KTC bus stand. We can't. Why? Because they are citing their internal notifications, internal circular saying no, this is a, this is our property, Jivanti over there. So hundred, five hundred meters from there, nothing can come. One what propo is this? One proposal was put up saying that in case the navy wants to have the five hundred meter radius, they should acquire the land. You, you think this is correct? That is the law, no? I am buying with the Ingson. Let navy only take over everything. We we'll leave and go. The, the way navy is behaving, that's what I am saying, no? And then, I mean, today I am speaking like this. We should not be called anti-nationals, but this is how we are being treated, and that's not right. That is what we wanted to convey to them. We have conveyed. Hopefully, we reach some. Four kilometers radius around the airport reference point was treated as a restricted area. That means anybody falling in this four kilometers. With the navy, so what are the issues discussed? You spoke about so many acts and so many violations that the navy is also into. So what do you want to say today? How was the meeting? Yeah, the meeting was very good. First of all, I want to congratulate MMC for organizing this meeting. 
basically the problem in Vasco is that uh, Navy has started applying the restrictions under uh, some Ministry of Defence guidelines. We don't agree with these restrictions because the guidelines itself says that uh, in case other acts apply in that area where the project is proposed, yeah, acts such as the Aircraft Act, Cantonment Act and other acts which are laws in the Union of India, then those guidelines should not be applied. But the Navy is ignoring that provision of its own guidelines and they are misapplying the uh, guidelines and denying the project proponents the NOCs. These guidelines are issued by Ministry of Defence, not by Navy. So if Navy ignores the guidelines, it, they are effectively disobeying the Ministry of Defence. We have tried and we have conveyed this message to all the naval authorities. We have met FOGA, we have met various people and they have no answer to this when we ask them that why are you obeying your own ministry's guidelines. So they, uh, off the record they tell us that uh, you know we are helpless etc. But this is not correct because uh, entire construction activity in Marmogao Taluka is coming to a standstill and this has to stop. Those who are following the law have to be given their permissions and they cannot be denied the permissions because of some internal guidelines. Those guidelines can be applied where there are no laws prevailing in those areas. That's our stand. We are desperately trying to make the Navy understand. We are not fighting with the Navy because they are our country's Navy, but we are trying to make them understand that this is not correct on their part. As a central government organization, they should not be harassing the people. Sir, so, two more points that I was hearing during the meeting. One was that you said that the local authorities like the uh, municipality and the PDA should give you a construction yes. license. Yes. Yes. In case you have uh, you have yes. applied for the naval permission, I have not got it as yes. yet. Yes. So what do you want to say on that? In Goa, we have our uh, construction and development regulations, and uh, we are entitled to our permissions. One of the requirements is has always been to get the clearance under the Aircraft Act. Now, when we apply for the clearance under the Aircraft Act, and the Navy denies us the clearance because by citing the guidelines, we want that Goa government should take a stand. That if we are not in violation of the law, then we should be given a permission. Uh, late Mr. Manohar Parikar had already uh, taken a stand on this issue and he had issued a circular in 2012, that is hardly one year after the guidelines came. And he said that the, uh, the Navy cannot enforce these guidelines and they have to follow the law. So from 2012 to 2020, the Navy has not been enforcing these guidelines and construction have come, come, up, uh, come up all around their establishments. So how can it be a security threat now that only new constructions will pose a, a threat and old constructions will not pose a threat? So Navy knows very well that they are doing the wrong thing, but why they are persisting, we don't know. Is it uh, not very strange that uh, though you are not in violation, it is you who have to approach the court sometimes? Exactly. So what I am, uh, what we want Goa government to do is we want Goa government to take a stand. Chief Secretary of Goa has already written a letter to the Ministry of Defence and he told them very clearly that what they are doing is wrong. So what we want Goa government is to issue a directive to local planning authorities to please issue the constructions where the Navy does not show that the project proponent is in violation of Aircraft Act. Once that is established, then uh, they should be given the permissions. Let the Navy, if they, if they so believe that it is very important about the 500 meters, let them go to the court. We'll see what the court has to say. Because we are very confident that the court will always support the law and uh, they, they will not deny the citizens the benefit of the law. The law is always for the benefit of citizens also, no? So, Aircraft Act is, an, is a act that is prevailing since 1934. And the rules under Aircraft Act, the height restrictions are international restrictions. They are not Navy's restrictions. They are not Navy's calculations. So, we ourselves know when we are in violation of Aircraft Act. So when we put an application uh, before the Navy, we know very well that we will get it. That's yes, good. Thank you, sir. Yeah? Thank you.